rights issue. Yes. In that, for any country globally, both men and women, I would include intersex persons there, all have an equal opportunity before the law. And therefore, even in terms of uh, the rights that accrue to each and every individual, you have to be treated in a manner that it is that secures your dignity, that it's non-discriminatory, and therefore, when you leave out a section of our society, and for Kenya's case, half of the society, if you leave it out, then you are speaking to one aspect of it. There is a co an important contribution that women place and make in society. Uh, when you look at from the family unit, yes. 34% of uh, Kenyan households are headed by women. Uh, this is according to the KNBS, KEDHS uh, survey that was conducted in 2022. Uh, and from this, you see uh, that there is an importance of placing uh, the role of the woman right from the family unit up to the point of where decision making is are. One of the strong challenges that we do have pervading within our society is that despite us having good progressive laws that govern our current situation, we have good aspirations uh, embedded in our constitution, mm -hmm. but in terms of the implementation, you'd, re you'd now come to issues relating to what has been our societal attitudes towards mm -hmm. the role of the woman vis-a-vis -vis the role of the man. Yes. What has also been the culture and the religious uh, implications in terms of what uh, a man plays and what a woman uh, does. So when you see